Meeting Jagaban's Child Employment. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. My meeting with Jagaban's Child Employment left me with a sense of wonder at an uncommon devotion and loyalty not often found on these shores. Unless, of course, there's more to it than it's apparent from this intellectual appraisal of the phenomenon. I find Jagaban's child playmates both fascinating and particularly all Nigerian for one reason, their collective vow of silence. To meet with this boy who class me physically is a tale order for anyone living in Nigeria today. And so it was for me too, until I remembered one of the many encounters I had with the boisterous and colorful politician called K.O. Mbadiwe of the Blessed Memory. One particular interaction made me resolve to find and describe the boyhood playmates of the Jagaban. To digress a bit, I met Chief K.O. Badiwe for the first time in June 1997 during a big presentation at the NIIA in Victoria Island, Lagos. I noted the date in a book. The drama began when it was K.O.'s turn to launch the story of the EBB Union, authored by the late Justice Udo Udoma. The book was not a legal tome by the erudite justice of the Supreme Court. It was rather an account of his youthful labors from the, for the Ibibu State Union before he moved to the bench. K.O. accepted a copy of the book, moved to the podium, held it aloft and deliberately measured his audience. Then he turned full attention to the author as intoned. I have not read the book, but I have read the man. The audience has put it at another K.O. speak. Remembering this K.O. moment reminded me that there are many ways of meeting with the boyhood playmates of the Jagaban. There is no known book to read about them, but we can read from the silence. One of the principles that journalists have thought in the news reporting classes that no comment could become the lead story. If properly conceptualized, an astute reporter can bring into bold relief the context and use this to demonstrate how significant and insightful a no comment can be. It is in this context that the no comment stance of the childhood playmates of the Jagaban assumes gargantuan significance for elections 2023. We are presented with the loudest no comment in the history of the electioneering in Nigeria on a man who is in every sense one of the front runners. In May 1999, when Senator Bola Tunembo, the subject of this essay, became governor of Lagos, the issue of his place of origin and his educational qualification became front-page controversies. Significantly, not one child or playmate or classmate came to his rescue. No one was willing to step forward and speak for him. The defense then, as now, dev devolved to a band of publicists who discharged the responsibility with some dexterity. The issue, however, refused to die down. I personally do not care for the issue, as I've said why before now. But I am worried that the way it is papered over to forcibly sealed off, waiting for the next election cycle. There are only two ways to lay the controversy to rest. One is to produce hard evidence of where the Jagaban had his early education. The other is to show who he schooled with or grew up with. His childhood playmates. In the absence of hard evidence, what meaning can we, like K.O. reading to the over two decades of silence by the childhood playmates? Governor Sunubu is clearly an enigma, both as a person and in his politics. Having put some thought to what is powering his quest for the presidency of Nigeria, I can tentatively suggest that what makes him such a phenomenon is the intersection between his politics and his person, and how his childhood playmates appear to have agreed to put a cap on the story. Today, the silence has transformed Tunubu into an inscrutable being, a mysterious performer whose political ascendancy mesmerizes his nation. Governor Tunubu is nothing but a lucky man. He has the best set of loyal childhood friends in the world. Friends from where he comes from, where he grew up, and where he schooled. No doubt, many of those friends are alive today, but there is not one Judas to be counted among the lot. That is incredible. Tunubu's situation with his childhood playmate speaks to one of the three things. There may be no story worth telling about the man after all. This can be uncommon devotion and loyalty from childhood friendship, not often sustained on these shores, especially in matters of politics. And of course, is it possible that some of them may fear that something resembling the sword of Demikos hangs over their head? The real winner the of the World Cup 2022, Enigo Metro, my alternate online publication, passed up the opportunity to report day-to-day -day campaigns of the World Cup just ended in Qatar. We could not find a reporter who would not read the book, be physically present, but read the matches joyfully, report them with its authority and insight. What is worth doing? 
we ended up serving the next best as intellectual harvest of articles that speak to the World Cup values. The last four articles we published examine the things you will not find about the competition and the artists that define this era of football. Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar and Mbappé. One explored the medical miracle that gave the world a prodigy called Lionel Messi. Another used Messi to rekindle age-grade rivalry. A third painted his hero Messi in poetic hues and the final dismissed the notion of Messi as a goat. Here is something else I can do except for zero seven. The other three, the other three have their roots in two continents, Africa and South America, but currently eat at the same table in the different continent. These three phenomenal footballers, Messi, Neymar and Mbappe, came to the grand finale from the same club, Paris Saint-Germain FC in France. The national teams they played for Argentina, Brazil and France advanced to the quarterfinals, with France and Argentina playing the final match. It is therefore germinating to any discussion of World Cup 2023 to know that players playing their trade in French Football League give the world the best final match in recent memory. We are unlikely to witness a deadly rivalry between the two Saint German artists as they pull together magic tricks from their heart to give the world audiences a finger biting final. And two not only ended up with the top performances prize but overloaded the World Cup 2022 final match with their historical record. France may have loved the final match, but three of the top four gladiators will return to French soil. And one of them, touted as a goat, will surely leave his airport in France as a retired. For the Crown Prince, who refused to cry after scoring a record final match. Trick to wipe away shame from the eyes of his countrymen. The future belongs to the African French lad as the agent starts to pass. Well, um, you see this particular article. <clears throat> This particular um, article, eh? <laughs> I don't know what the writer is trying to do. If I look at it, it wants to sound like sarcasm. If I look at it, it wants to sound like an iron. Like, you know, it's looking like something. Because to me, I know, I don't really, how do I put it? I'm trying to get the angle he's coming from. Is he seeming, you know, strange? To most photos are a case study in pathetic thinking. When it comes to insert, then we ask, why has nobody come to claim his or relatives? So why can't they simply apply the same logic to Tunubu? Why has nobody ever claimed that they school together in his early years? And it is not it is not that um they must even have something terrible to see. We are not even expecting something terrible. I don't know about you, but at least let ah you know when ah this person ah I schooled with this person you know, she was my junior she was my senior he was my classmate in so so time ah you know two three four five people ah uh-uh. before you know you know more people don't come ah he was ah he was also my senior he was a very nice guy he was a smart do you understand you know at least but the thing is even Jagawan is is not even willing to come out to tell us. For reasons best not to me, but Nigerians, we have other candidates. If this one's saying that we're giving away in I want, we're gonna try another place. Eh? Alright, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time.